Hello and welcome to Vault Hunters episode 10. I've got a fun challenge for this episode. Let's talk about it. That's right. We've got a new thing I'd like to add to my Vault Hunters playthrough to make it a bit more interesting. Introducing the challenge of the Lionhearted. I mean, I guess I, I, I'm just naming it something that I think sounds cool. <laughs> Not sure if I've seen this anywhere, but this is a challenge I've decided to put together for myself to have possibly a little bit of fun and some uh, hopefully some funny moments happen during the season. I thought it'd be fun. So what is the challenge? Well, the challenge is to run a vault and complete the objective of said vault. Although there's a catch. You cannot run using your regular gear. You can only run using the gear that you find in the current episode of the series, which is this episode, episode 10. Yeah, I'm kind of catering to the series. That being said, I'm required to run with a completely empty inventory and gear as I go. Although, I won't be completely hopeless, I can still use my abilities. <laughs> and such that I have unlocked. Changing skills is, you know, gonna be okay. So, if I need to, I can always do that. So to begin with, one, going to run a vault with an empty inventory, gearing as I go. Two, reskilling is okay, but that is all I take in with me. Three, I have to complete the vault objective to beat the challenge. And it's a fun little thing for the series, of course. Or, I'm going to set this up as a every 10th episode, possibly, I have to do this challenge. Kind of make it a little interesting. So like I said, empty inventory, all I've got is my crystal and the shard pouch as the exception. And this is all we're running with. Nothing. Not even a magnet. That is what the challenge is. We got to gear up as we go. There's nothing much left to say other than the fact of, since I've got quite a bit of shards... Let's hope I don't lose them. <laughs> Real though. And since that is everything situated already, empty inventory, other than the shard pouch, I think we're ready to jump in. One thing to mind though, this is gonna be a level 20 vault. Let's just get into it. What? Champions abode? When did this become a thing? 10% chance for champions to spawn? I don't mind the champions. I didn't know that it would give me this stuff, but well, I let it load. Let's get some wood. We got lucky that it, it spawned with some wood on hand. We're going to make some easy tools here just to begin with. Honestly, probably going to play this like I would a sky vault. If you know, you know. Also, maybe use that as some a block material, maybe some essentials on us. I'm already losing health. Forgot. I don't have my health pot. I don't even have heal. Oh, I should have reskilled that to begin with. E, this is gonna be a short vault. I got an omega room already? Okay, let me get some more blocks <laughs> so I can build across and get around. This is a good room for coins in general, but it's gonna take me too long to get to anything, so I don't think it's as worth it. Don't get me wrong, the benefits are tremendous. I just don't think it's worth it at the moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to get stone unless it's through a POI specifically. So we're going to have to deal with what we've got. Okay, but this this would be a great area for some building blocks. Look at this room. I, I love the vibrancy of this room. We'll just go straight across for now. Oh my gosh, why is there a challenge room? So I might want to do like ornates first. It would probably be the best thing. Probably going to have to use my like rely on my abilities for everything. I'm actually not doing horrible damage. I mean, yes, I am. Obviously horrible damage. But, <laughs> grand scheme of things, I can still kill things. How did I miss that? And they gave me hunger. Oh, I don't even have food. It's okay, we can get that right here. Okay. I will for sure clean out my inventory though as I'm going. We don't have enough. We'll probably put this crap back in there. Let's put the food on hand so we can eat. Progressing through the elixir, perfectly fine. I'm worried about champions. That's what I'm worried about. Ooh, ornate. See, this is what I want. This is what I want. I want to try to get gear right away. A weapon would be great. There we go, chest piece. Oh, I have, I don't have the right blocks for this building. Ooh, ooh, offhand. Oh, I almost fell off. Let's parkour here. Let's roll these. 
Seven armor, increased ability power. Honestly, not bad. Oh, fan, the ability power. I mean, oh, my sword's almost broken already. I think I might be able to use this, maybe? I think I can make a sword with that. Yeah. Just immediately throw out this wooden sword. Hope there's a champion. Oh, no. Oh, no. His vampirism. A sword. That's what would be good from this guy. We gotta pick this up. Come down here, fellows. Let me get some high ground on these guys. Ooh! Ooh! Ow! Ow! Okay. Oh, we dropped a helmet. Let me get to the helmet. There we go. Let's roll that helmet right away. Let's go back up there because we cleared that area. Put that helmet. What does it have? Seven armor, two ability, four health. Nice. Too bad I can't regain health. A little unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost fell. I thought I was going to fall off right there. Oh, that was a, that's why there was a lot of mobs. I was wondering. Can I get a weapon? No. That was an Omega wooden chest right there. I didn't even realize. No, why got to why got to be fast, dude? I'm trying to keep you at bay. Keep you at bay. So I can make some shulker boxes. I don't really think there's a point though at the moment because I probably won't get a lot of a lot more. We'll kind of see as we go though. <gasps> oh, we might have to leave. We're in a bad area. Bad area to fight. Let's uh, let's bring you down here, bud. Let's bring you down here. Move weird sometimes. You move weird. Do I risk it? I think I shall risk it. We'll just play very careful. Very, very careful. Do everything in our power not to lose what we've got. Some more of that stone so I could make other things. We'll do a pickaxe and then an axe. So I need six. Got those. Go that way. Let's do this little spot right here in the corner. Ooh, ooh, I almost died right there. Trying to keep my spatial awareness up. My sword's almost broken already. I've, I only had a nub. No. Oh. Oh no, why did I do that? Am I risking too much with this? How about this? How about this? Yeah, I found my routine. <laughs> what? How'd I get hit? Did the brick do damage to me? <laughs> I lost my shard pouch. <laughs> oh, well. This might show us a new feature that I have yet to show off. I'll show you this, how to do this at a later date once we get the quest unlocked. So until then, you will go right there. <sighs> so that was my first attempt of my episode challenge of the Lionhearted and I don't have a Lionheart. Look at me in the background. <laughs> my little ghost in the background, that's so funny. Oh, so I've technically failed the objective. That is a little unfortunate, but that also gives me room to talk about the update 14 that just released. Let's get into that. To begin with, update 14 offered a variety of new things as well as decently large changes to the game. Half of the update were pretty much bug fixes that were sent out through hotfixes after the initial update release. That being said, a lot of what had been added or changed mainly affects late game progression. I'm mainly going to be speaking on what was changed from what I have already shown you through this series just to avoid any confusion, especially for <laughs> all the new vault hunters that might be joining us. So to begin with, chipped vault rocks were removed. Vault rocks are no longer needed to be crafted with chipped vault rocks and chromatic iron. The process has been made to be more streamlined to allow for ease of running and getting started with your 
your first initial vaults. Ballstone also no longer drops the chip to vault rocks, but now drops the vault rocks at themselves. Even the texture for the item is now changed. Now you can even directly go into crafting vault crystal without needing of spending of some of your first precious chromatic iron ingots. Honestly, that can, depending on your scenario, be very beneficial. And two, quests have even been updated a little bit. Questing is now made easier. The quest system now unlocks and blocks, so meaning several quests are available at any given time past level 10, which allows the player to have a little bit more freedom and make a little bit more choices in their own playthrough. And now we can skip quests if I can't immediately complete a previous one, like this burger quest that shows us how to get extra XP through loot we find in the vault. Just craft and eat a delicious burger. Easy and simple. And you even get some from the quest, which is pretty awesome. Three, poison traps now. Shoot poison again instead of water bottles. That's right. What used to be something I never had to worry about. <laughs> it's a new difficulty in the vault and an annoyance that can, well, that we can build around later if we'd like to. It's just another challenge to overcome with the crazy vaults. I enjoy the absence of this, and now I'm going to be on my toes a little bit more when looting. Honestly, though, I genuinely don't mind that. The balance of looting is kind of great when it comes to those trap chests. Can be annoying at times, but it does add a little bit of difficulty, which you can easily overcome if you do the right things. But outside of those changes, Everything else that was changed, well, won't affect me since I haven't done anything in regards to them. But I love the changes that were listed, and I will have the link to the patch list in the description if you would like to dive into a little bit more. Also, if you would like me to do Vault Hunters update videos in the future, let me know in the comments and leave a like in this video so I can set some time aside for that in the future. Just to maybe challenge myself into a different type of video other than just like a play through a let's play would be kind of cool to push myself in that way but outside of that thank you thank you thank you guys for all your support i really do appreciate each and every one of you that likes subs and clicks that notification bell did you like seeing that idea of the challenge of the lionhearted because uh i like the intensity and the added difficulty it brings to the series but i will leave you with that i'm ruin and i'll catch you guys on the flip side